This is your boy, RJ Upload. It's coming at you guys with a quick random video. Uh, by the way, I am shooting with the Motorola Edge Plus 2023 at 1080p at 60 frames per second. Just taking a look out here at the cows, by the way. They doing their thing, as always. Wish I can relax like that, at least for the long haul. But anyway, this video is about the Google Pixel Fold and why I think this is a one out be all phone foldable, whatever you want to call it. This is just me telling y'all it's okay. It is okay to get you a foldable device. I've been rocking this bad boy since it came out June 27th to be exact. Um, still, I ain't gonna say it's like it's brand new because it's actually been running a heck of a lot better than it was from day one. Um, have no issues with my connections, my networks. I can use uh, a regular SIM and an eSIM at the same time. I can use it on all carriers. Haven't had any issues with it over here in the U.S. I'm going to say. Let me go ahead and straighten it out. Uh, the form factor to me still is lovely. I have been able to put away my Pixel 5 a lot of the times because of this form factor. And in the process, you still got one hand is goes to hands is still pretty much stiff. I can still open this bad boy up and get my landscape tablet style still in the process. So yes, I do use the inner screen by the way for those always talking about they don't use the inner screen because the outer screen is uh good enough. The outer screen is good enough by the way, but I also like to use this landscape form factor. I don't necessarily worry about too much because this bad boy is still stiff. I'm one handing it right now, and for the most part, I can hold my phone without being in the way of the camera. As you can plainly see, I hold it down. My hand basically covers this phone. The weight doesn't bother me. By the way, shout out to Toast Made because I'm rambling right now. But this skin slash case or whatever it was that uh, I got, I love it. Uh, I didn't think I was going to have anything to replace it with all of my other skins or the other case that I had with the metal case. But uh, yeah, this one is on here. It's going to stay on here for the foreseeable future unless I order another one. Yeah, y'all go look these guys up. They do great with some of the mainstream phones. I've seen a few. Uh, I'm probably going to get another one pretty soon. So yeah, check your boy out and also check out Toastmade.co. By the way, this is not... Uh, <laughs> no sponsored video just to let y'all know i'm just shooting these guys out there because they did a damn good job with this skin slash case but anyway dude go out there get you one i think the phone ain't even as expensive as most folks always continue to see it now the phone has been out a while now i've seen it in some places brand new with 500 dollars off with no trade-in for crying out loud try it Y'all spending that much on the dog on S23 Ultra or an S24 Ultra or iPhone or whatever you want to call it. Go ahead. This thing's coming out with a base model. I mean, 12 gigs of RAM. I think starting out at 256 gigs of storage. I think my only gripe on this phone, and this was my fault, I didn't get the 512 gig version. Because I, I'm keeping this phone for quite some time. I'm just going to say that much. It's not going anywhere. This one's uh, going into my all around every day no matter what else that i end up with this one will forever be until further notice in my pocket so also google please don't change the form factor up that much from this this style i like it i like it a lot even the bezels on the inside they don't bother me at all if you want to trim them up fine trim them up but uh keep that camera where it is located out of the way out of the bezel I mean, off the screen, I don't like all that stuff that just be in the way. For instance, don't get me wrong, I like this, but with the dog on the screen and the hole punch design, I'm I'm over that. That's just me. It might be a lot of folks that are going to that disagree with it, but hey, it is what it is. This form factor is great. I can't see any other thing to say about it. Yeah. I mean, I'm I'm at a loss for words at the moment because, like I said, I do this stuff just straight off. No editing involved. This is just me filming, talking to you guys. The hardware is good. The software has been good. I haven't had any problems lately. Uh, when people are screaming about AI features, this and that other, 
I mean, unless you're trying to do something magical that you don't know how to do with uh, cameras, my phone runs smooth. It is what it is. This is your boy, RJ Uploads. Rocket, the Google Pixel Fold. Now, almost 10 months in. Almost. Y'all gonna just remember that. Almost. It's almost a year old, people. And the G2, by the way, the Tensor G2 has been great. So, yeah. Tell people to stop knocking it. This is your boy, once again, RJ Uploads. And I'm out.